You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Sarah Golseth. I'm Andy Bates. The season of Advent is just around the corner, which um, it feels like it came up really fast and also really (laughs) slowly this year. I don't know. It's been a strange year, but it's right around the corner. And CPH, Concordia Publishing House, has some fantastic resources for Advent. And so we have Lisa Clark joining us today, Senior Editor, Curriculum Resources with CPH, to talk with us about all of these resources. Thanks for joining us today, Lisa. It is always a pleasure. So Advent is just around the corner. There's been so much coming out from CPH, and I, I just looked through all the resources yesterday, and I, my mind was a little blown at all of, all of the things that are available this year. So what what is what's kind of the the rundown of all of these things that are available from CPH? Yeah, it's a lot of fun because we always try to do something somewhat comprehensive for Advent, but we upped our game. We did some extra things this year, and it was great timing, I think, and just finding ways to build up the whole church. So we've got Advent services with sermons, which we often have. We've got the bulletins that correspond with it and children's messages. We have devotions that are great for the whole family, and they uh, correspond with that whole theme, which is, by the way, Jesse Tree. Uh, And I'll talk a little bit about what that means. We also have a children's book, but one of the new things that we're really excited about is we have a Jesse Tree kit. It's a family activity kit where you can send your family home with a box of fun stuff, which is surprisingly great timing (laughs) Um, (laughs) because we've got a lot of at-home things going on this year. So we're really thankful that we've got a way to support churches and families right now through that kit. So, oh, and also, I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay, go ahead. Service. <laughs> a children's Christmas service as well, too. That's always there as well. But I, I just got so excited about the kit, I forgot to mention. <laughs> well, I'm excited about the kit, too. So let's talk about that. So you mentioned the, the Jesse tree. It's a family activity kit. It's all in a box. I'm gathering that we're not planting a seed for a tree and growing it in time for Advent, because that would that that's that makes Advent really long, which this is probably true. won't work. <laughs> So for that, next year. <laughs> no planting. No, so no planting. Yeah. Yeah, Jesse Tree is a fun theme because it's a theme that a lot of Christians have used for a long time. It comes from, you know, scripture where it talks about the Jesse Tree or a a root coming out of the stump of Jesse. Essentially, we're talking about Jesus' family tree here. Jesus, who's the son of David. David's the son of Jesse. There's this promise, of course, that God uh, starts from the very beginning with Adam and Eve that, hey, guess what? Someday you're going to have a offspring that's going to save everybody. Um, And so the Jesse tree kind of traces that. You look through different promises that God makes and you look through his family tree and you realize, hey, we're all part of God's family tree because of Jesus. So there are different symbols that become ornaments for this particular kit. And through those symbols, then you can look at all the promises, really just a few of the many promises um, <laughs> that uh, God has made to remind us that we are part of his family tree. Oh, and so we're not planting. We're actually kind of building a cardboard tree in the box that you can use all the time. But also, if you really love, uh, you have a mini tree that you really love, that's fine, too. You can use these ornaments uh, for whatever setting works for you. But there is a tree that you can put together together. And while we love that this year you've got all this comprehensive um, stuff that people can do and just be completely encompassed with the Jesse Tree theme, this is something that people, again, have used, talked about in the past. So you can use this every year. This can definitely become a tradition. Put the box away, put the ornaments away in your little box, and then uh, bring it back out every year if you would like to. Yeah, I think I've seen uh, every year at Advent all the family ideas pop up or or families are asking for ideas. And Jesse Tree is one of those ones that that seems to be already a thing for a lot of families during Advent as we uh, look at the the coming birth of Christ and and look through all of those generations of promises. It's it's a really cool thing. And now there's something from CPH that families can use. How, yeah. how does this how does this family kit kind of work throughout throughout Advent? 
Yes. So because it starts with Advent, we're excited to see lots of people already start getting it and getting it out to their people. Our own church uh, just brought in the boxes this weekend and people started grabbing them up. (laughs) And we're going to be sending them out to the families who want to stay home and have been staying home. We're going to send those out to anybody who is interested. So you open up this box and you've got some directions. You put the tree together and there is an ornament for each day starting December 1st and counting all the way through Christmas. So each symbol has a a significant reason. Like, like we said, you know, you've got things like the fruit for the first one and reminding us, oh, Adam, Eve, Adam and Eve, you know, sinned and now we need a savior and we've got a promised savior. And then you've got a ram. Okay. This reminds us of Isaac and how God provides a sacrifice. And how does that tie into Jesus? So there are 26 ornaments that you can decorate and put up on your tree one by one. There's a devotional every day that's for everybody. And you can, again, look at how these symbols remind us of the promise of Jesus So that's a lot of fun. There's also a book, and that book specifically corresponds with the children's Christmas service as well. We didn't want to have a a Christmas service that lasted three hours, so (laughs) we uh, focused pretty much on 16 of those ornaments that kind of, or the symbols to kind of hone in on some of those ones that kind of stand out. Things like, okay, we want to talk about John the Baptist and how he points to Jesus. We want to talk about Ruth because Ruth is great. (laughs) And so you've got 16 different ones in the Christmas service, but also 16 in the book. And in the actual book, you can see the exact same symbol uh, that corresponds with the ornament. So I think what I hope families will do is read that book early on and then a few times throughout the month too, just to kind of remind everyone, oh, yeah, this is where we're going. This is... These are the symbols that we're kind of highlighting. Since we're all creative types here, I want to go back to the the ornaments, the symbols. You mentioned you get to you can decorate those, right? Yes, you can. Okay, uh, what's you your can. favorite way to decorate these ornaments or to 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 make Great them colorful? Question. Yeah, so if you're simple and you just want to do things like crayons and colored pencils, that's super great. But we've got some ideas even in the directions of what you can do. You can add to them. You can do glitter. Okay, maybe not glitter if you're yes, in a family. Smith. Yeah, some families don't love <laughs> glitter. But there's also some talk. And and maybe this is something to revisit in years to come potentially, but kind of an ornament exchange where, you know, maybe you make some and then you exchange some sort of like a cookie exchange sort of idea. So there's some different ways that you can do kind of a team effort. But yeah, you paint, you know, really any kind of thought that you have of this is the stuff that I've got or I really want to go shopping for uh, craft items. You know, you can you can do whatever that may be. So there's also resources for uh, use by churches. Uh, you mentioned a few of those. I know my church is using the the children's program for the children's service. Can you talk through some of some of those resources for use in church? Yes, for sure. So the children's service, we often have a children's Christmas service, and our church is going to be adapting it a little bit this year, as some churches may be doing just for added precautions and things. Our church is actually going to videotape our kids during their Sunday school class, or if they're kids who are still doing Sunday school at home, they're going to tape themselves doing certain parts, and we're going to integrate that into the service, which I think, you know, we wouldn't have dreamed of trying in the past, but now that everybody's had quite a few months of (laughs) video recording and services and things like that, we're going to be doing that. And the Great news for that is we're going to be using it every service of that weekend where we used to kind of focus on one particular time during the weekend and hopefully being able to reach others that don't always hear the kids sing or talk. But basically what this will do is kids get a little bit of a rhyme and a little bit of a song and they kind of chart through how God keeps his promises through through Jesus and uh, through that Jesse tree as kind of the outline for the service. It actually uses the tune O Tenenbaum for Jesse tree, O Jesse tree, Christ family tree. So you will definitely get that in your head as you learn of all those promises. <laughs> That's awesome. And thank you so much for thinking through how how diverse the situations may be for congregations this year, how many <laughs> yeah. families may be at home and, and still observing the, the seasons of Advent and Christmas for families and, and also for all the learning that we don't want to set aside during this time that we might be 
looking at things differently or, or just living differently, not being able to meet in person sometimes, things like that. So thanks for thinking through those things. We really oh, appreciate definitely. it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And it's been great to hear even from, you know, not only people who are reaching out to me as a CPH editor, but also as a pastor's wife and the Sunday school coordinator. And there are grandparents who are so excited about this because some of their grandkids are going to a church where maybe they're staying at home more and all. And so a kit like this is something that they can take home and introduce into their Advent routines this year and just have that daily reminder that they're loved by Jesus. They're also loved by grandma who sent them the box. (laughs) And so even if things look a little bit different, there are some new things to try. And I think that's always helpful. Whenever things don't look the same or even things have to go away to introduce something new can be a a way to add some joy this year. You know, you bring up a great idea. You, you, You giving sending these these kits as gifts during advent or, or before advent really so that they can do the jesse tree kit all through advent so even before christmas now's the time to start sending advent gifts right yes i sent mine to my godson <laughs> already he is um, starting to get a little old uh for some of these crafty things but he's the oldest of four so i'm thinking he's going to definitely take the lead and teach his siblings uh, some things this year too so uh, yep i sent mine out already so he'll be ready and uh, i think that's a great great time right now for this month to kind of plan out who could benefit from having a jesse tree in december uh, so that they're ready to go and you pointed out earlier that this could be, in terms of decorating the the pieces, it could be as simple or as elaborate as you want. So this really could be for all ages too. You don't have to be a little kid to enjoy this. So we could, we, we grown ups can enjoy it too, right? Most definitely. One of my friends is uh, an adult, and she is like, I am going to get this for myself, and I'm going to be coloring this, and this is going to be my devotional time this this December. Absolutely. And there are a lot of other resources from Concordia Publishing House that adults can color as well that are really helpful. And the catechism and, and so many other things, the, what the, the hymnal too, I can't remember what the, the hymnal is that you Yeah, colored. illustrated hymnal and illustrated yeah. catechism and two different kind of journaling Bibles. And it's, it's really fun for me because I follow a lot of the folks who use those resources <laughs> on like Instagram. And I see these beautiful de- decorations that they have during their devotional time. And I can't wait to see what they do with the Jesse tree ornaments. Very good. Very good. Lisa, how can we find out more about resources for Advent from Concordia Publishing House? The link is so super easy. It's cph.org slash Advent. And then you're going to see all of the Jesse Tree stuff right there. And if you ever have any questions, though, you can always uh, let us know as well. You can contact us online. You can find us on Facebook. You can uh, reach out to me. You can find me online as well. So we are always happy to answer any of your questions. Lisa Clark, Senior Editor, Curriculum Resources with Concordia Publishing House. Lisa, thanks so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you. Anytime. Anywhere. Anywhere.